everyone and welcome back to my studio. I hope you're ready for some fun today. We are going to work on a big canvas. Um, a couple shout outs first though. We're going to do a kiss pour and I learned that at Fluid Art Boutique. So shout out to Sarah Mack on that one. And also to my buddy Krista. I'm using mixed pour in all my paints. This is wonderful stuff. I learned how to use it at the Fluid Art Boutique and I really love it. So let's get down to the canvas and I'll show you what we're doing today. Okay, we're working with the big one. This is a 24 by 24 Artist Loft Level 3 Gallery Wrap Canvas. And I have taped and push pinned it and sprayed the backing with water. And you will notice I have nail feet, little sticks under two of my feet to make sure this baby is nice and level. We don't want all our stuff, all our hard work just slushing right off. So I'm gonna make sure those are good. Let's go through our colors. So the first color is this beauty here. And this is Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet Light. That is looking really pretty. Put that over here. Next is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. That is a really beautiful dark, deep color. I'm really looking forward to this. Our paints are fairly thick today because we are doing a kiss pour and I want my design to hold. This one is a mixture because I don't have a whole lot of Bordeaux Red. I really wanted Bordeaux Red but all I have is this little tiny, tiny tube. So I mixed it with some Liquitec Basics Cadmium Red Deep to sort of still get me a really nice dark red, but it's not quite a full Bordeaux Red. Next color is also Amsterdam, and this is Turquoise Green. Beautiful color. Next up we have Liquitec Basics in the Philo Blue. That is really pretty dark blue. Of course we have my all-time favorite Decor Americana Decor Metallics in the 24 karat gold have to throw some of that in here. Now my gold is mixed a little bit thicker than my other paints, so it disperses less, um, but I still get that color. And my last one is my white, and this one is a mixture of the Amsterdam Titanium White with a little bit of our DecoArt Satin Enamels in pure white added. And that's going to give us some lovely effects, that little bit of satin enamels in there. All right, so we're going to do a kiss pour. This is a 24 by 24 canvas, so we need about 21 ounces of paint to cover it. Um, these are both 16 ounce cups, so we are not going to fill these. We're going to put about two thirds up in each cup to give us about 10 ounces in each cup, and then we'll put a flow extender on. So we're going to start both cups with a little glug of white. And a drizzle of our gold. Those are looking gorgeous. All right. Now let me move some of these out of my way. I'm going to be knocking them over while I'm tilting. Make quick 
actually throw some clubs on. Okay, now first we're going to put ourselves in a puddle to pour into. Don't have a lot of white left here. To mix some more white. Okay. some white. In the middle here, I'll stretch that out a bit. I'll be ready to pour. Alright, so we're just going to stretch that circle out a bit. I just mix that. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, back on here. Where that goes. So I know you can see it, I can see it. Let me torch some bubbles out, we'll be ready to pour. So I'll keep that stew around. All right. Now we're going to take our two cups and we're going to pour them into a single stream right in the middle here. And hope this works because that's a lot of paint and a lot of mess. We want our streams to stay merged. dismount there guys. But otherwise that's looking pretty cool. Ooh, so many air bubbles. I am loving this though. I think I may wreck it though. Just for fun. And I'll recharge my torch one. Oh that's looking gorgeous. Loving the colors. Alright, you're gonna torture bit. There's so many air bubbles in here. And I'm gonna put some flow extender on this. So what I'm gonna do is pick colors here. Put them a little bit more. Put them around the outside here. So I think I'm going to start with, have any white left, over here where I don't have much white, around the outside. Start with pouring some of this leftover white.
start. Yep. What a mess. Alright, let me wipe my hands down a little. So I don't trip on this. Seems to want to run that way. very solid up here so I'm gonna bring a little of this up hopefully into that A lot of that's going to get tilted off anyway, but what the heck. All right, let's play. Time to tilt. see a little better when I lift to tilt. I want you to see nothing. But and now I'm just going to sort of circularly move it around. Not really going anywhere in particular yet. Just sort of getting it to start stretching and moving. Sorry, you're not going to see much on this one for a sec. Turn it around. 
one so I can do that side. Again, just keep running that circle around. So we're just sort of going in a large stretching circle motion just to get everybody sort of moving, see what pops up. gorgeous oh my goodness all right let me turn this a minute uh, not that turning this is easy guys because this is a heavy canvas especially with all that paint on it there are cells exploding all over it's the feet on this because it needs the feet not because of the canvas but because of this table There is some, ooh, goodness, my apron tied is falling into the paint here. Hold on. I'm gonna tuck it, clean my hands off a bit, clean it off, and tuck it up so it can't do that again. Oh, good, it all over. Okay. Let's put the paint all over the top of my. I have paint all over the top of my apron because I was trying to do something and I took my gooky hand and stuck it into the top of my apron. So much for this apron being clean. It's been properly baptized now. Hopefully not my shirt underneath. Do I want to move this at all or just leave it because it's so pretty? I think that corner is the corner I like the least though and I may try and see if there's any more movement in this paint. And if so, I want to try and put it, move that corner just a little. That being the least favorite corner. But we'll be happy if it doesn't move. I won't care because it's still pretty. But I like all what's going on with the rest of this better. So we'll see if we get any movement here. I don't think it's really going to move much more. But wow, guys. Wow. That is something else. There are so many cells popping up all over. And that's just from, and there's this cleaning my hands before I point at something. There's this fuzzing that the satin enamels has done. It gives you that translucent look. There are all the cells, and that's from the mixture of the metallics and the plain paints and the mixed pour and the air bubbles that were in there. There's just so much going on. And the colors are gorgeous. The red violet light in through here is so bright. And over here, you've got that blue violet 
giving you that dark contrast. And that red is popping up all over the place. Oh, all right. I'm gonna take you down for a close up. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna do something about my edges. Okay, let's take a closer look here. I am just loving the way this turned out. Let's see this explosion through the middle here. Just so much going on. All right, I'm gonna let this sit and dry. That's probably gonna take a while. I'll take some pictures and I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. Thanks for joining me. Okay, we have the dried results of this 24 by 24. Let me get you in a little closer on some of this. Look at these lines. Look how beautiful this dried. I am absolutely in love with this painting. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time.